This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening and welcome to Sports Saturday. I'm Julian Gibson coming to you from Red Bay's Andres with a Frank Hanna Snapper Fishing Tournament and Homecoming Festival got started last night with the official opening ceremonies. I'm very happy and delighted after seven years my good friend Everett Hart was stuck in me. And now the reality come tomorrow morning. Exactly nine hours from now, he and I will be head to head in the boat. No vision, people perish, but if you flip the coin, where there's vision, people prosper. Now make sure to win into ZNS Total Sports for the latest. Who caught the most snappers and who caught it away with the biggest fish and who also went home with the largest cash prize. And other sporting news from Andres Mangrove Key Class C Regatta got started yesterday. How about those Class C boats sailing? It was my good friend, the Crazy Dragon, Jimmy Saunders coming in first. Melva B, well she came in second. Coming in third was Dream Girl. Lady Rootnell came in fourth. And my good friend, with Reverend Dr. Philip McPhee at the bow, well, she came in fifth. Still talking sailing, two regattas will take place on Randall Fox Day. We are talking about the Long Island regatta. That regatta will feature some 40 boats in the A, B and C class. Switching to flag football. Nowadays, everybody back in the capital is playing flag football. Basketball players, football players, volleyball players, everybody is getting involved. Well, you know me, I'm all over, you know, flag football, basketball, track and field, you name it, you know, you know, volleyball, you know. We try to be diverse, I mean, as a coach, um, you know, try to get involved with uh, different um, sporting activities and also to give support to also different discipline. You know, I think once everybody can do the same thing, it fits well for us as fans, as coaches, as, you know, as enthusiasm with sports. So I'm happy, I'm, I'm surprised to see the amount of people that's involved in flag football. This is something tremendous and I trust that, you know, the, the people and powers would come out here, look at what's going on, you know, and, and embrace this. This, this, this is a great opportunity for sports in this country. I came out to support the men's game and I was sitting in the stands and a few of the players asked me to just come out and join and I just watched them and I guess my volleyball skills, I just took it over and decided to play flag and I've just been enjoying it, something different. Switching to softball, according to men's national softball team manager, Godfrey Gullyboy inside. Well, there's no tournament on schedule for this year, but plans are well in place for tournaments for 2014. Next year, uh, we expect uh, one or two tournaments, you know, the CAC games uh, coming up soon. And so I think there's a qualifying round for that next year. Um, the men's national team should start working out sometime in late June. We'll try to bring the numbers together and that's because the season's open and we may be able to have an opportunity to go to some of the leagues and some of the, some of the ball players in those leagues, the talent, the skill that no league can try to have a real um, Bahamas national softball team, another new province Grand Bahama based national team that we've had in a long time. Um, I'm sure we can find some talent in Long Island, Exoma, Eleuthera, hopefully Eleuthera will come on board and um, we again Abaco uh, we're going to look and see exactly what we have in those islands and see how it can really uh, enhance and help and also, you know, strengthen the, the men's national program. Well, that's all the time for Sports Saturday. Special thanks to my cameraman and VTI editor, Timmy Wilson. Once again, I'm Julian Gibson. Stay tuned. Your better forecast is still to come. This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.